uh, so shaky, sorry. So right now I'm going to be doing a August um, TBR. Um, I know it's already like August like 7th or something. Oops, I'm a little late, but I'm filming some videos right now and I figured I'd do one to give me some motivation to read all the books that I want to this month. Um, so the first one is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Um, I wanted to read this before the book came out. But I've recently heard like mixed things about this book. Like the storyline is great, but like the way it was, um, like gone about, like how it goes back and forth, wasn't that great. Um, so I'm gonna tr really try and read it. I've been wanting to read it for a couple months now, but I just, I, I I'm so bad, <laughs> and so I'm gonna try really hard to get this one off my TBR list. Um, the next one that I want to read, I set for four, but I really wish I could read like my whole bookshelf. Like that would be amazing to me, but I wish I could read more than that. But this is what I'm like. I really, really want to finish this month. Um, this is Better When He's Bad by Jay Crownover. Um, I read two of her other books, um, Rule and Nash, and I loved both of them. They're so great. Um, I totally read those books out of order because it's like a companion series and I think there's five books there's there's a lot there's like five books I think and rule is the first one but um I totally read them out of order and I want to read all of those as well but this is her brand new series um so I really want to read this one um the next one I have is slammed by Colleen Hoover um I recently got this one a couple weeks ago as a gift and so it just sounds really interesting. Um, it's like a love love story type of book. I'm that's what I'm getting. I like to go into books not knowing a whole lot, so that way everything is like a new surprise to me. But um, yeah, I've heard good things. So yep. And the last one is The Hundred by Cass Morgan. I'm actually already reading this. I'm 184 pages in. Um, I've been reading this book for like a month now and I don't know why it's just so hard for me to like read it um, I watched the whole series like first season on um, online because it's a, it is a TV show now uh, yeah the show now on CW but um I really really love this show like it was awesome I watched the whole season in like two days but then I was like oh there's a book I gotta read it like yeah and um, it's, it's a little, it's obviously different from the TV show, but it follows, like, four, like, I don't know how to explain it. It just, every chapter is a different character, and it goes between four different characters, and so it's just kind of like, usually it'll go between two, it'll, like, follow two, but this one follows four different ones, like a TV show would, and so I don't know how I feel about that, um... So far, it's so it's good. It's similar to the TV show. Um, I have I have heard not not that good of reviews from this because it's supposed to be like a sci-fi novel, and it's 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 not. There's a love there's like a love triangle in it, and me personally, I like that because I love love stories, and so yeah, maybe it's because I'm so used to reading love stories that the whole sci-fi part of it is hard for me to get into. Um, I don't know, I'm really trying to, like, open up my views on books and start new things. So maybe this, this will give me the push. So I have probably, like, a hundred, hundred or so pages left. Um, and I really want to finish this one. Really, really do. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm about to film a, um, July, beginning of August wrap-up. I haven't done a wrap-up. And I just did my first TBR. And before that, I just filmed my first unboxing. So I'm on a roll today. This is my, like, my family's downstairs and I can actually make videos now. But, um, yeah. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.